Wow, what an amazing song from Minister Jonathan Nelson taken from his latest release. Finally, finally, I am here and you are here too. That's why you have to have a strong faith with a strong finish. Good morning, everybody. I'm Simone Malone, your radio feel-good man, one of your most trusted and respected voices. I thank you so much for tuning in. I thank you for clicking on to the link. I thank you for downloading the iPhone or the Android app, whichever one you have for your telephone, because I have my cell phone right here. For those of you that can see the live video, there it is. You see that picture of me on my on my phone? <laughs> He's got a good shot of that. That's cool, isn't it? Anyhow, uh, we appreciate you so much for listening in and, of course, making us one of the most highly listened radio shows online on this radio station, and I appreciate you so much. When you get a chance, where are you listening in from the window? There's a lot of information. I want to get these preliminaries out of the way and some announcements before I get into the word of the Lord, because I know you're going to be blessed by the word that I'm going to share from my lips today. Uh, right there where you're listening in from the window, uh, there's a lot of information, you know, uh, advertisements and how you can read the testimonials of people from all over the country. What I want you to do, please take a moment. Uh, where you see testimonial, click onto that window. You'll see that window. Click onto the testimonial section and place a comment because we use that for marketing. Uh, we want people to know that our new listeners, what you think of our radio station, what you think of Simone Malone. Go right there now. I want to see it when I get off the air at 11 o'clock. I want to check out your post and you can share your testimony of faith and deliverance and we will post it on the homepage of the website at fmhdmsradio.net. Also, if you're a pastor, you're an artist, you're a musician, you're an author, um, I know you got something going on, right? God has given you gifts and talents and abilities to do certain things, and you should be utilizing those gifts and talents like I do every day um, uh, to, to demonstrate uh, what I do and also to celebrate, um, of course, my life and to support my salvation. That is, of course, Jesus Christ. If you are a born again believer and you have that ability, I want to spotlight you. I want to talk to you how you can get your business on an African American owned and operated radio studio where many of you are watching the live video uh, right now on Facebook. And those of you that follow me on my YouTube channel, Trusted Voice and Radio, thank you. Uh, this is the studio. I actually own and operate the studio where the personalities come. Um, it's a lot of equipment here, but you actually see me talking to you in front of the equipment. So one day I'll I'll show you all that too. But if you're interested, give me a call at 215. It's 224-4297. That's 215-224-4297. I want to let you sit right across from me or have you on my telephone line to talk about what you do because you're doing some great things and I want you to know that we appreciate your business and your gifts and your talents because it all comes from G-O-D. Also, I'm going to be out and about in the community. I'm going to be in Baltimore, Maryland tomorrow. Pray for my journey. I'm going to be connecting with my dear friend, Dr. Ron Bigelow, who's coming up from North Carolina to be a part of Eric Cadell's birthday celebration and CD release celebration. I'm excited to go to Baltimore. Believe it or not, I drive through Baltimore, but I've never really been in Baltimore. So I'll be there uh, tomorrow and check out some of our live remotes that we'll be doing and pray for my journey as I make my way down 95. That's right, 95 South. So um, if you want to be a part of it, check us out on Facebook. and You'll be able to listen in and, and see what's actually happening, okay? It's springtime. It feels good. It's absolutely fabulous in Philadelphia. Um, as I was coming in the studio and walking my dog earlier, the sun is brightly shining. The studio lights are great. And I was telling uh, one of my colleagues the other day that I'm getting back into uh, my bike riding real soon. Uh, for those of you that are are exercising every day, you're walking, you're drinking all the water, you're having the smoothies. It's been a really rough season for many with allergies, and I got a little touch of it, but I'm feeling a lot better, and I take my medication, and I drink those herbal teas. I'm back to drinking the lemongrass because now that it's springtime, we can grow it. And uh, one of my colleagues, uh, she actually grows it in her garden. So I'm going to make sure I get over there and get me some more lemongrass. But today, um, they mixed up a great smoothie. You got a good shot of that. Look at that. Is it, doesn't that look beautiful for those of you that can see the live video? Uh, this has uh, peaches and strawberries and um, some protein powder. Um, I think it even has um, some peaches. Yeah, peaches and strawberries and uh, I think it's some cantaloupe mixed up in this as well. A great smoothie for your health. This is my breakfast and lunch. Can, can I swallow this? Can I can I get a sip of this? Y'all got to see this. My goodness, thank you. This is incredible. <laughs> Gosh, wow. Why not have a healthy smoothie every day? Fresh fruit, put your favorite thing in a blender, and I'm telling you, you will feel good and look good like me no matter what is happening. Also, 
you know, those of you that into the natural uh, products of uh, soaps and shea butter and all that stuff, all the products I use on my body are natural. Uh, this here, I, I just got this in uh, thanks to the soap person. They said, Simone, we have something good for you for the spring and summer, which is uh, baby powder soap. Uh, this is all natural. Um, it looks just like the peppermint. You got a good shot of that. Uh, for those of you that can see this, I know you, for those of you that are listening live on the radio, but, uh, this is a shot of the, um, uh, baby powder soap. It looks like, uh, peppermint soap that I've talked about, uh, some time ago, but this is really good. I'm using this. Mm. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I want to eat it. Bye. <laughs> Anyhow, baby powder is, is very good. And those of you that are into those natural products, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For more details about where I get my soap from and you need some, Give us a call, and, and we'll share that information with you because my soap person would love to do business with you. So there you have it, the announcements, preliminaries, and if you're celebrating a birthday for the month of May, I want to take this time to wish you a very, very happy birthday as we approach Mother's Day. I'm going to be reflecting on the death of my mother, who is now in the resting in the arms of God. On May 7th, uh, 13 years ago, she passed away, and for those of you that will be remembering your mother, it's a great time to do that. Every day is Mother's Day as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's, let's talk about dealing with bad news. Folks, when I share these inspirational moments, again, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. Um, you have to give an account for what you do every day. And every single day, there's never a day that goes by that um, I do not get a text or I don't get a telephone call or I don't turn on my television. I don't turn on the radio to listen to other stations in the news where we hear such bad and negative news. But God is able to keep you, sustain you, and protect you. Do you know that there can be so much bad things going on around you? It can be something happening right now as I speak to you. But God has a way of protecting you that you are guarded by the angels, that nothing shall happen to you. No weapon formed against you will prosper. I want you to read Psalms 4, but I want to focus on Psalms 4, 6. that says, Lord, I lift up the light of your countenance upon me. There are so many who say, who will show up or who will show us any good? Psalms 4 6. Those words of David seem to describe the pessimistic outlook we so easily develop in our world today. The front page of the newspapers, you turn on Facebook, you turn on your, your computer right there where your, your home page, you see such negative news and things that are topping the stories on the day. Of course, you may get a telephone call, you see accidents and politics, the economy, and prominent people behaving so badly. We hear bad news all the time. Even right where we live, in our home, and our relationships, you know what I'm talking about. It's bad New. Some things are just bad. Our conversations at work and home begin to dwell on difficulties, and it's enough to discourage anyone. Folks, when you're hearing all this bad news and you're dealing with bad news, you may get a telephone call for some of you that are applying for work, and the employer says, hey, I wish I could hire you, but I can't. That's bad news. When you find out there's a condition that you have and you have to go for treatment or you have to go for surgery or something, mm, that's bad news. Uh, the loss of a loved one, someone who you love so dearly. Mm, that's bad news, huh? It's so much that we have to deal with every day, but God will surround you and protect you and put love in your heart and lift your spirit. Our conversations at work and home begin to dwell on us with difficulties, and it's enough to discourage anyone. So I want to encourage somebody today, if you feel discouraged with bad news, I oftentimes deal with my own situations and, you know, with bills and things. And I'm like, oh, here's another one. That's bad news. But, hey, we got to pay and we got to survive every day. Where can we turn for better news? We can find the good news in the word of the Lord. We can read the Bible and open it prayerfully and rejoice in his word. In the midst of his trials, David turned to the Lord who relieved his distress, hear me out, and heard his prayer. So when you're dealing with bad news in your life and in your community, turn to God. Don't talk about it. You need to begin to pray for your community. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for your friends. Stop putting folks down when you hear bad news because you know what? It might 
just happened to you. Instead of hoping for temporary good from altered circumstances, he found an unceasing encouragement to God. When David was going through, he turned to God and God was there and supported him and rescued him. Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. The result was a gladness of heart that is surpassed in any earthly prosperity of success. Throughout David's life, hear me out, before and after he became king of Israel, many of you who know that scripture and knew that story, you know what I'm talking about. He was never without opposition. You probably say today, Simone, I'm dealing with some type of opposition, but God will be there for you and he will be a refuge. Thank you, Father, in the time of trouble. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, my brother and sister, he could say, I will, be, I will both lie down in peace and sleep for you alone. Oh, Lord, make me dwell in your safety. That's verse 8. They are in the book of Psalms, number four. Remember, God is a safe dwelling place in life storms. So if you're dealing with a storm, you're dealing with a problem, you're dealing with a situation, and it's just bad news, I want you to know that God is going to whisper to your heart and sing you some good news because we're so tired of hearing bad news all the time and wondering sometimes is God really there. But I want you to be encouraged, my brother and sister, to know that out of every bad situation, something good is going to happen. When I got the telephone, call and I got the test back two years ago that I had cancer that was bad news but I turned to God and I said God I'm your child so if you're dealing with an affliction and you're dealing with a situation I want you to know that God can turn your bad into some good and I want you to be encouraged and I want you to be lifted so when you get a chance I want you to read Psalms 4 the book of Psalms Psalms 4 but Psalms 4 6 says once again Lord I lift up the light of your continents upon us let's touch and agree Father God I thank you for this word because, Father, somebody that's watching me and somebody that's listening right now is dealing with some bad news, God. God, through all of their efforts that they seem to do, stumbling blocks continue to come in a way. But, God, we know that you can move the mountains and you can move situations out of our way because you want us to trust you, God. And sometimes, God, we know that when situations and burdens and trials happen to us, God, and death and loneliness, God, you're trying to draw us closer to you. God, I know what you have done for Brother Simone Malone, and I'm asking you, God, to go through Facebook and FMHDMS Radio and my YouTube channel and, of course, on Twitter, God, and touch somebody that is dealing with bad news, God. We want you to turn the situation around, and I thank you, God, for your power and your Holy Spirit that I feel, and that somebody today is going to be blessed because, God, they're going to get a telephone call. They're going to get a text that's not going to be bad news, God. They're going to get good news today. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. If you believe God with me, you can say amen. Folks, this word is real. I'm telling you, God will be there for you. He will bless you just when you think that it's over. God says it's not over. I want you to be encouraged today that God can deal with your bad news. And I want you to read Psalms 4. And Psalms 4, 6 once again says, Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. There you have the inspirational moment dealing with bad news. God is going to come to your place and send you some good news today.